Hello and welcome back. Through different metabolic processes, cells release energy, and that energy can be captured in the form of chemical energy, in this case, ATP. ATP captures energy and stores it as chemical energy for cells. Now in a calorimeter, that's how we measure how many calories, say, a food has, a calorimeter releases all of its energy in the form of heat in order to measure a uh, temperature change to tell us how much energy a specific food has. But that's the least useful form of energy. Storing energy in a chemical form is much more useful for metabolic processes. But in order to catalyze metabolic reactions, we need enzymes. Enzymes are these large protein molecules that have binding or active sites that catalyze metabolic processes. In this case, we have carbonic anhydrase as a representative enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of uh, carbonic or, or bicarbonates to carbon dioxide. So how long do these processes last? What's the time scale for biological processes? Well, it could be anywhere from 10 to the negative 15 seconds, which is very fast for like electron transfer reactions, to 10 to the 18 seconds if you consider the period of evolution. But let's look at what um, normal processes like this take. So electron transfers are 10 to the negative 15, Transition states in chemical processes are 10 to the negative 13 or so, order, on the order of magnitude of 10 to the negative 13 seconds. Um, hydrogen bond lifetimes, these are very transient uh, bonds, 10 to the negative 11. Motions in proteins, 10 to the negative 12 to 10 to the third seconds, so, you know, 1,000 seconds. Enzyme cat catalysis, maybe 10 to the minus 6 to 10 to the 0 or one second, right? Um, diffusion across membranes, uh, 10 to the zero. Um, protein synthesis, 10 to the first, 10 to the second. Okay, so some ribosomes synthesize proteins at a rate of 20 amino acids per second. Cell division, 10 to the fourth to 10 to the fifth seconds. Embryonic development, 10 to the seventh to 10 to the eight seconds. Um, and a lifespan is 10 to the 5th to 10 to the 9th seconds. So this is the order of magnitude for the lifetime of some of these events.